Area police are investigating another shooting tonight. This one kills two people early this morning. The shooting occurring around 1.30 in the city of Jefferson outside the Rock Bottom Saloon and Eatery that's on Milwaukee Street. News 3's David Douglas was at the scene earlier today and joins us with the latest on this investigation. David. Maria, Jefferson police say they have their man. A suspect is in custody, though they aren't telling us his name. They're executing search warrants and continuing their investigation in a small community left shaken. In this community, we're not used to this kind of violence. We don't have violence here. There's a chill in the air in Jefferson Sunday. Sure, it's partly the weather, but also as a result of the crime committed here. I saw a tape out there and uh, just heard that somebody got killed. Jose Acosta lives across the street from the Rock Bottom Saloon and Eatery, where police say two people, including an off-duty police officer, were shot outside around 1 a.m. I was a little freaked out. I got my girls up there, um, three daughters. It's, it's kind of scary. I don't want to mean make light of this, but I mean, the last time we had a sensational crime here was when Dillinger hit the bank here in the 30s. And Jefferson is a, is a really great place to live, and we're crime-free. Jefferson Mayor Gary Myers was stunned to get the call at 6.30 Sunday morning. He says the saloon doesn't have a history of trouble. Though police aren't identifying the victims, an online tribute page has cropped up where people are paying respects to Officer Jennifer Lewick and her boyfriend, Greg Peters. I understand she's a six-year veteran of the town of Oconomowoc. Even though the streets in Jefferson are quiet and seemingly peaceful, to some the tragedy, though shocking, isn't surprising. It happens anywhere. It, it's people. It's not the town. It's people. Police in Jefferson say they'll provide more details and do interviews with us tomorrow. Also, we hear formal charges are expected in the case, so more details about what led up to the trigger being pulled should come out in court documents sometime during the day Monday. Wow. News 3's David Douglas reporting for us tonight. David, thank you.